So, as I promised, we're looking at the penal code exam and I'm giving you the penal code exam. So how important is the penal code? <laughs> I can tell you, you gotta have that before you get anything else. It's an integral part of being a police officer. So I definitely hope you enjoy this review, this video. felony of the third degree is punishable by, well, the answer would be confinement by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, not to exceed one year and fine no more than $10,000. And so when, when reviewing what culpable mental states are, remember that premeditated is not a culpable mental state got to remember that. When looking at penalty levels for different offenses, think about criminal solicitation and what the uh, offense or what the penalty would be. Criminal solicitation may be charged for soliciting, but what's the penalty level? Penalty level is going to be a capital or first degree felony. When thinking about um, elements for proving an offense, Let's look at the offense of murder. Causing the death of an individual uh, while driving while intoxicated is not an element for the offense of murder. Remember that. It's not an offense, uh, or it's, correction, it's not an element for the offense of murder. Two people of the same sex that are seen kissing on the main street of a city is not a violation of the Texas Penal Code. So let's, th let's think about this particular situation. Causing the death of an individual with the intent to murder, what is that punished as? What's the penalty for that? And the answer is 
it's a first degree felony. I think you already knew that. person who has care, custody, and control of a child younger than 15 years of age commits an offense if he or she what? Intentionally abandons the child in any place under circumstances that exposes a child to an unreasonable risk of harm, right?
John offers, what, Dan $10,000 to kill a rich aunt. Dan tells a detective, and then that results in a sting. Dan then gives John a fake murder picture, right? Uh, where he committed the deed. And then Dan asks John for the money. Here's the question, what is John gonna be charged with? Well, the answer to that is what? Solicitation of capital murder, right? is the primary difference between robbery and theft? Of course, you know the answer to that would be the use or attempted use of force on a person. Interference with railroad property. We need to know the elements for that offense. It's gonna be on the test, you need to know it. Hey, what offense is committed if a man is sitting in front of the entrance to a Home Depot and is asked to leave? What offense is that when he refuses? I think that would be obstructing a passageway. What do you think? Is that obstructing a passageway? All right, so John's neighbor, Jim, wires John's house to receive cable, right? I think people do this. Wires it to receive cable service. Wires it to receive cable service, free. With Jim's members. What offense do we have here? Is there an offense? And if so, what is it? So the defendant sets fire in his backyard to burn some leaves, right? 
He's burning dead leaves. Uh, let, me, let me make sure that I'm correct on it. He's burning some dead leaves. But here's the problem. The fire gets out of control and burns a neighbor's fence. His neighbor's fence. What offense do we have here? Intentionally damaging a public monument. And the amount is $850. What's the penalty for that type of an offense? That's gonna be a state jail felony. So, Proud Mary is walking down the street, a public street, topless. What offense has she committed? What is the difference between, or the main difference, between resisting arrest and evading arrest? What's the main difference there?
a witness to an offense gives his true name, but a false address. What offense, if any, has he committed? So a defendant contacts a witness in an upcoming court case and uh, offers that witness a benefit. What offense is uh, committed here? So I'm gonna tell you this, you need to know the definition of a private place. What does the penal code say about that? The definition of a private, of, of a private place. What is the definition there? What is the definition there and how can we apply it? In which circumstances? You might get a scenario. So that's it. You 
got the video now. Wish you all the luck on your exam. Enjoy the rest of your week.